Yo, how's it going, guys? So we're in Flight Simulator 2020 in my ACS Royal uh, RTX uh, 4090, and uh, we're at a 3090 megahertz uh, core overclock, which is kind of funny because I previously had a 3090, so we're at 3090 on a 4090. Uh, we have the i9 1300KF processor at 5.7 gigahertz all core overclock, and I'm running 32 gigabytes of G Skill uh, Z5 uh, PC 6400 RAM, and uh, Someday in time, I'll go to 64 prior gigabytes, uh, which will probably be beneficial in future games, but just I'm not quite there yet. So let's go ahead and show the graphic settings. Uh, one person asked me to add more clouds and uh, try to show like the vegetation and stuff. So I'm going to try to do that in the video, in this video. And then, uh, so currently we're at 34, 3840x2160, which is 4K resolution, anti-aliasing anti -aliasing at TAA. And then in later in this video, I'll do the NVIDIA DLSS3 uh, uh, feature to see what kind of frames per second we get, but right now I'm just going to keep it on that. Uh, let's see, NVIDIA reflex little NC is on, because I'll definitely need that uh, when I use the super resolution. And then all the graphics settings are basically pretty much maxed out. Terrain level is at 200. There's no reason to fully you know go it all the way, because that's uh, actually a pretty heavy uh, thing. And I think by default it's, I think at 200 or 100, I can't really remember. Anyway, so all the graphics settings are ultra settings, object level is detail 200. All these settings are fully maxed out. Uh, so that's it, and then let's go ahead and play the game at 4K, and then uh, we will see how it runs. And I'll try to go in the clouds, and I'll try to show some of the ground and vegetation, which uh, one person asked me to do. So I'm trying to make everybody happy. So I know there's some flight simulator enthusiasts who like certain settings to really test the GPU, and I'm just experimenting. So one thing I wanted to mention is I reinstalled uh, Flight Simulator 2020 because I had this issue when I went to a 13 gen uh, processor that there was a BIOS update in the Z690 motherboard that uh, caused some issue with RAID 0 setups that wouldn't allow me to boot, so I had to reinstall my OS. It was a pain in the butt. I already made a video that kind of detailed the issue and how to fix it, but uh, because of that, uh, my previously cached files uh, in Flight Simulator 2020 are no longer on here, so there may be a few hiccups here and there, and that's probably just because it's uh, re-adding uh, those cached files, so uh, just bear with me uh, if there is that, uh, that issue, so. I'm going to try to go up into the clouds, and I'm also going to try to show the ground and vegetation, just try to, you know, try to do different things to really, uh, you know, really test the hardware, so we'll try to, you know, show a lot of different uh, things here, so let's test the frame for a second. It looks like we're around about 53 here, so I don't want to go too high, because uh, obviously I want to show New York City, which is one of the most heaviest, uh, portions of the game. So I'm going to go, go down, try to show the trees and traffic and stuff. So just bear with me again if there's any hiccups. Obviously, uh, like I said, I reinstalled uh, Flex Simulator 2020, so there may be a few uh, few little hiccups here and there because it's re recaching the files. So so we'll try to show uh, vegetation, traffic, the trees. And we'll also do the uh, Airbus inside cockpit view, which I know is pretty heavy. So, Airbus three two zero radar contact five miles southeast of six November seven four hundred feet. Clear to the Bravo airspace. Maintain on navigation. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Airbus three two zero. For some reason I had my my uh, mouse cursor wasn't working, so I couldn't adjust that. Okay, so now we're getting into New York City, uh, and the time of day is actually almost high noon, which is what that person uh, asked for, so it's a different time of day. And uh, obviously there's clouds, so it's actually blocking the sunlight. So maybe, now that we showed the clouds, let me just uh, remove the clouds, because or do something to uh, allow some sunlight to get through. So let me, uh, oops, I didn't want to go there. I wanted to go to uh, the weather settings. So, weather, overcast. Let's put a few clouds. Airbus 320, you're leaving my airspace radar okay. service. Terminated squawk 1200. Let's try to show Frequency this change approved. vegetation here. Squawk 1200. Some of the traffic. Frequency change approved. Airbus oh, I gotta raise my altitude or it's gonna crash. New York approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320. This type Airbus A20 in 3 miles south of 6 November 7400 feet. Request flight following. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320, New York approach. Squawk 
Okay, so that's 4K. Uh, I'm gonna show the entire cockpit view also. Doing a pretty extreme turn here. I don't think a airliner would ever do that in real life, but that's okay. Just trying to get uh, towards uh, the park here, which has a lot of vegetation, just to kind of really tax the GPU. And I'm going to try to show a top-down view to show you all the traffic and stuff so, in the building. So one of the heaviest scenes, uh, I think, in New York is uh, this Manhattan Park. It always drops frames per second uh, whenever you're flying over there. So I'm going to basically fly over there. I'm going to choose a lot of different views to uh, further stress the GPU. So I'm just going to be quiet for a little bit and you guys enjoy and watch. And again, some of these textures are a little bit blurry, probably because it's caching the files, so. Alright. But as you can see, writing pretty good. Okay, so now let's experiment uh, with the graphic settings uh, some more. So that's 4K, so let's... Uh, Try uh, 1440p to further stress. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, 1440p to further stress the CPU. South. Climb and maintain 3,000 feet. Expect ILS runway 22 left. Approach. Get turned around. I'm going to do the inside Echo cockpit Bravo view attention. also, which I know is very heavy Clear in this game. So. Echo Bravo. First, just get turned around. And this should put more stress on the CPU. Which, unfortunately, uh, the current MSI Afterburner uh, does not support uh, the 13 gen CPU, so it's not showing the actual wattage or the clock speed, but it is at 5.7 gears all quarter clock uh, with roughly 2.85 uh, voltage. I'm sorry, I think it was uh, 1.85, not 285, 1.85, sorry, not, two, not 285. Okay, so that's 1440p, now let's go to uh, 1080p, and we'll see what kind of frames per second we get. So let's go to 1080p, not 220 by 1080, play, finish. Eight two eight traffic is twelve o'clock, four miles at eight hundred feet generic. It's Report funny, I mean honestly. I think four K well obviously four K looks better, but obviously four K still runs really good, so even when we were testing testing more of the CPU here, you're better off just running four K if you're obviously running a high end GPU. But uh So that's that, so that's ten eighty P. And sorry for the NSA after burner being so uh, large, just because I'm doing different resolutions. Uh, so that's 1080p, so now let's go to 8K really quick. And then after that, I'm going to start really experimenting with that super DLSS stuff. So let's go to 8K here, apply, keep changes. And then I'm going to turn off this TAA because there's no reason to use uh, anti-aliasing at 8K, so apply and save. Wow, that looks amazing. So we're getting about 27 frames per second. And the visual fidelity is just beautiful. Look at that, look at the city, wow. Hey guys, so in that video I got cut out, I just ran out of VRAM, so it's kind of funny. Right before uh, no, I was testing 8K, it just ran out of VRAM. So I'm basically back at 8K at the same settings that I had before the crash, so I'll just very gratefully uh, show you. So 8K resolution, anti is off, because we're at 8K. And uh, basically,